Okay, our next year in culture here, um, let's go ahead and take a look at our sheep blood plate. Now, you can see it on this one. There's beta hemolysis around these colonies. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at our differential, our selective plates. So we have uh, a lot of colonies over here on the McConkies. And I think you can see here that we have one, two, three, four, maybe even five different colony types on the CNA. So what this tells me is that this is a, this is a mixed culture. And in microbiology, there's kind of a general rule that, uh, you know, has to be used with uh, caution or, you know, you have to, you can't just blindly apply this rule. Um, but basically, if there are three or more uh, organisms present or pathogens, it's possible that you might not work it up. So... You know, this is kind of a tricky one because it's obvious that we have a lot of this, you know, gram-negative rod, and it looks like E. coli. But we also have some contamination here over here. So do we work it up or not? Okay. Now, this may be one of those times where we, we look at the uh, specimen type, and if it's a catheterized specimen, I'm pretty sure that I would work it up. But if it's just a clean-catch specimen, I might not. So just for sake of variety and that we're not working up every culture, let's just go ahead and uh, we're going to send this out, uh, the final report on this, uh, and we're not going to work it up. So basically what we're going to, there's a couple different ways that we could do it. We can say 30 to 40,000 mixed gram-positive organisms greater than 100,000 probable E. coli plate held for seven days. Okay, now why do we hold the plate? Well, if the doctor wants to seize that report and comes back and says, hey, I want to work up that E. coli, you know, so uh, we wouldn't be throwing these plates out. So there's usually a place or a, a bin or a bucket or a, some cans where these types of cultures are held just in case the doctor changes his or her mind and wants it worked up. Okay, let's go ahead on our last urine culture here. Okay, now this is just our regular sheep blood, and I, I'm, uh, I'm seeing probably three to four different colony types. Okay. Now, on our McConkies, we have these lactose positive or lactose fermenting colonies, and they're probably, they might be over here, these gray ones. But one thing I can tell you for sure is none of these colonies are these colonies. That's impossible, right? Because this is our CNA, and the lactose or the uh, gram negatives would never grow over here. Um, so, you know, we're probably looking at, well, of course, we have one colony type over here, and then I'm seeing two to three over here. So for me, this is clearly a mixed uh, specimen. The sample was either not collected properly or something. But once again, we have to take into consideration, is this a catheterized specimen? How was it collected? Or is this just a clean catch? So, um, you know, assuming that it's a, it's a clean catch specimen, this guy uh, I would report out as probably, um, you know, in opposition to the other one, the previous one where I said 30 to 40,000 mixed gram positive organisms, and then I said greater than 100,000 E. coli, there's nothing here that's really predominant. So I'm not going to make that distinction. What I'm going to say is probably uh, 20 to 30,000 mixed organisms, or I could say mixed gram positive and mixed gram negative organisms. And then of course, I'm going to say plate held for seven days.